Welcome back. A North County couple whose home flooded last fall says they've learned just how challenging filing an insurance claim can be. As Team 10 investigator Austin Gravis shows us, the couple says they're still waiting to be reimbursed more than $100,000. It was a frantic afternoon last October. This ring camera capturing the moments after a pipe burst. 100 pounds of water pressure was being sprayed into our attic. Phil and Karen Wisnant had hired Pro Service Insulation to do some work. They were out of state when they got a call from the company. He was frantic. He said, can you tell me where the, the water shutoff is? One of the guys stepped on the fire sprinkler piping and is flooding the house. Living room. It was a mess, of course. The couple says the water destroyed everything from floors to cherished belongings inside their newly renovated Vista house. It knocked out the ceiling in the room closest to the break. Like the ceiling collapsed? The ceiling collapsed onto the furniture and everything in that room. It spread all across the ceiling and then down into the walls. Ceiling is completely out. The couple says they spent tens of thousands of dollars fixing the mess and thousands more on out-of-pocket rental expenses. They took out a loan and filed a claim with Amtrust Financial, the insurance provider for pro-service insulation. We're spending money, you know, that's borrowed money. It's a very... Um, unsettling feeling. In an email, an Amtrust claim specialist told the Wisnants they needed to provide a demand for a one-time cash payment. This is my uh, payment demand to Amtrust. The couple says not knowing their final rebuild costs, they asked for $246,000. So I think the, the worst thing to do is to pay for it yourself and then go to your carrier. The Wisnants did something different than what insurance expert Carl Sussman suggests homeowners do in this situation. His advice is to wait for an adjuster to come out before hiring anyone to start rebuilding after a flood. So they want to know what happens right away so that they can perhaps take steps to prevent further damage and they can get involved in trying to, to correct the problem and get the repairs done. What should a consumer in this situation do? There's just two things to consider. First, how long has it been since this damage actually occurred? Because there could be some issues of reporting timeliness. If there's a claim or a loss, part of most insurance policies say you need to let us know right away. So this is a remodel cost? The Wisnants didn't file a claim with their homeowner's insurance. They didn't want their rates to go up and say, after all, it wasn't them who broke the sprinkler. I was extremely hesitant to call my State Farm agent and file a claim with my homeowner's policy because of the issues that we have here in California with insurers dropping people. I think it's, it's a completely legitimate concern to say, well, do I want to be on the radar? Do I want to have this on my record that I have a claim, especially if it's not my fault? But Sussman warns waiting too long to contact your insurer could lead to problems down the road and says there's this advantage of making a claim. Their insurance company could pay for the damage and then what's called subrogate. They could go to the other responsible party's insurance company and try and recoup the money. The Wisnants say they're still waiting to be reimbursed from Amtrust. The company told me its claim team has worked diligently to investigate the matter and recently inspected the couple's home. Right there's where the leak is at the junction. Amtrust says it looks forward to reaching an amicable resolution with the couple soon. Pro Service Insulation told me it too is working hard to resolve the matter. I don't know why water just shut off. The business blamed the incident on a faulty connection with the fire sprinkler system, something the Wisnats dispute. Pro Service says it's a family-owned company that works hard to have good relationships and happy customers. This entire floor had to come up. In the end, the Wisnants say their bills ended up totaling about $120,000, not as high as the $246,000 they first estimated. The couple sent a final demand to Amtrust earlier this month, but still don't have a check. You feel very powerless. Powerless, but hopeful this will be behind them soon. Austin Grabish, Team 10.